What's up, Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, you say you like watches? Oh, your favorite bear's a panda? Oh man, have I got the perfect watch for you. This is the Gallant Panda Dial Watch. Oh, you like teddy bears? All right, well, that's a different, yeah. <laughs> we can talk later. <laughs> um, so this is the Gallant Panda Dial. Now, as you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, I've reviewed a couple different models by Gallant, and these are some of the newer models that I was able to pick up. So I just wanted to give you my thoughts on this watch. We'll do a full detailed review. And it actually comes in not just the Panda option, but there is a reverse Panda, also known as Evil Panda, which my buddy Average Joe over at his channel, you should check him out. He just unboxed his Gallant Reverse Panda and uh, you guys can compare them side by side. So I'll put a link up here as well as in the description so you can go check that out. Now, if you've seen my other reviews on Gallant, you know that they just offer a lot of bang for buck with their watches. And my point of contact was actually so kind that they were able to extend my coupon code, which is Dave Saves, and that will go across all of the models that I have reviewed in the past, as well as the models that I'm reviewing. And I'm linking them all in the description for you below. They are affiliate links, so it doesn't cost you anything, but helps me out. And then you can save 10% on all of those watches just by using Dave Saves. That's good until January 1st. So just a way of Gallon and myself saying thank you to you guys for you know, supporting that company and being a fan of the channel. In case you're new to the channel, my name is Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? Today I have on the Reef Tiger RGA3033. This is an homage of the Speedmaster. It's got a white dial. Um, I just love this watch. I haven't worn it um, since I went to the coast, so I'm giving it some wrist time. All right, without further ado, let's get into this review. All right, guys, here it is. This is the Gallant. Now, the model number on this one is 37239-2, and I'm actually gonna talk price first. And the reason being is you're gonna see some phenomenal value at this price point. This watch you can get for $35.99 on Amazon using those same links. And don't forget about my coupon code, Dave Saves. That's gonna get you 10% off of this watch as well as all the other Gallant models now through January 1st, 2021. So just keep that in mind. But I gotta say, first thing you're gonna notice on this model, of course, is that sweeping second hand. And right off the bat, just to let you know, this does have an actual Seiko VH64 movement. So you're looking at that full sweep the entire time. Some of you might be concerned with battery life, but you're actually gonna get two years of battery life from what I was researching on this movement. It does use an SR920SW battery, really easy to get, uh, very inexpensive. So. For two years, you get that peace of mind, and honestly, the trade-off for you know maybe what one year less battery life to have that constant sweep like that just looks amazing in my opinion. I wasn't expecting that on this watch until it arrived, and I actually saw it in action. Um, just yeah, completely blown away to get a Seiko movement at this price point in this watch. Now we are looking at a metal alloy case, and then we have a solid stainless steel case back. So. Only 30 meters of water resistance, high polish all around, looks really nice. And I would say pairing it with this Milanese mesh bracelet is just a great combination. You know, these bracelets you can usually get on Amazon for anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. So again, factoring that into the cost of this watch, it's just a great value. Um, could have easily come on any other type of strap, but I like the pairing with this Milanese mesh bracelet, very comfortable. And the bracelet is all solid stainless steel you can see indicated here and then we have those increments of about an eighth of an inch to really custom fit this for your wrist size which is really nice we'll get this on the wrist a little bit later but first let's start with some measurements so we are looking at a case diameter right at 41 millimeters i believe on amazon it probably says like 42 so that might be rounding up um, so let's just go with 41 and a half <laughs> the with the crown it's putting us right at 44 millimeters and then the lug to lug is coming in, get that right there, coming in just at 46 millimeters. Um, case thickness, as we can see here, is just over 10 millimeters. I really like the dimensions on this watch. And then with the lug shape, as you can see here, and then of course, the Milanese mesh bracelet is just gonna come straight down. So even if you have a smaller wrist, I think this is gonna wear fine for you, but I'll show it to you here on my seven inch wrist shortly. 
Well, let's go ahead and get up close on this dial. So here we are up close. Let's just start off with, of course, the mineral crystal. It is a, I wanna say it is just very slightly domed, almost flat mineral crystal. Get a little bit of distortion there, as you can see. And this thing just plays with the light, even though it's silver, almost looks white in some lighting. Um, but you can see we have a sunburst inner dial and then along the chapter ring there, it has that kind of record, vinyl record look to it. So this thing is just gonna play with the light really nice. The black sub dials, as we get up even closer, you can see are just all in a matte black finish. And then we have stainless steel needle hands pointing to, of course, day of week on the left, day of month indication on the right. So there's a sloped ray hot, which has our split seconds along and of course increments of five along that ring as well. Indication of water resistance of 30 meters down below and then the Gallant branding with Classic Series. I kind of like that cool font there for Classic Series. Um, I think just personal preference, whether you like it or not, but it's very small, unobtrusive. Um, they didn't put the crown logo with the little shield like we saw on the dive watch, um, but that's okay. I think it works really well with this kind of more classy look. I like how we have Roman numeral indices. They are applied as you can see here. So applied there in that chapter ring um, at all of the even numbers. And then at the odd numbers, we have just simple stick indices applied there as well. And those play with the light being high polish also. Now, one thing you're gonna notice here, let me go ahead and move the hands. So you're gonna notice we have just simple, you know, sword shaped hands with loom applied in both the hour and minute hands. And then the second hand is just a long needle with that little pip there on the back. And that also has loom in it. So one thing to be aware of with the loom is that generally we see that on the end of the second hand where it's pointing, but here it's reversed. So of course, wherever that pip is moving, your second hand needle is actually pointing in the opposite direction. Not a big deal because most of us don't use the loom for the second hand at night, at least I don't but just something to kind of keep in mind as well. I like the red accents on the tip of the second hand and then also how that ties in with the Sunday. So again, that red alert letting you know the weekend is about to end and work is coming the next day. <laughs> Pretty cool though, I really like this watch. I think it's so much bang for buck that you're getting here. Now I don't wanna forget about the crown here. So what's cool about this crown, simple coin edge, it is rounded. And I like how, because there's the absence of crown guards, they went with a sleeker crown as far as the crown width. It's very small, but easy to actuate. And you'll see here in the back where you can actually get under this crown very easily. It's not something that's difficult and that's because of that case shape and then how it protrudes. Um, but you don't really see that from the side or from the top of the watch. It's only from the back. But what's cool is easy to pop into position one or position two. Now, when we get into position two, the second hand does hack, of course. And then as we see here, there's a little bit of grit, I would say, kind of feeling to it. I don't know if that's gonna ease up over time, but just something I was gonna point out. Now, as far as the day of month and day of week complication changing, let me get up close here for you. So we see it's starting to click over on the day of month, right at around 11.50. That's gonna pop over just before midnight. And then day of week starts to change just before 2 a.m. So around like 1.50. And then we'll see that complete, yeah, right around 3 a.m. So pretty reasonable for a day-date complication, kind of what we're used to seeing. I would say just wait until about 5 or 6 a.m. before you start changing the date. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when we go into position one, as we turn it counterclockwise, so towards us, that's gonna cycle us through the day of month and you can see it just clicks over very easily. If we go the other way, it actually does not affect the date or day of week. So keep in mind that with this type of watch, you're going to have to cycle all the way through to get to the correct day of week. Not really a big deal because this is a quartz watch. So unless you're doing a battery change, you're not gonna lose what day of the week it is, just the day of month you'll have to do quick set changes to, which very easy to do with this uh, this setup. But let me go ahead and show you this on the wrist. Okay, so actually let me show you guys, um, in case you're not familiar with these mesh bracelets and this watch you purchase and it's the first time you're using a mesh bracelet, really easy, you'll just flip this out of the way and then you'll see on the back side there's these two little hooks, these little teeth here, hopefully that's coming through, and then you'll see this little bar on the bottom. So what you're gonna do is hook those teeth onto that bar, you can only go one way, 
So hopefully that's coming through. And then this part, you're going to click down that locks it in place. And then this is kind of like your safety latch that goes over the bottom there. So real simple to actuate. And then as you can see here on my seven inch wrist, let's go ahead and do that wrist roll. Bam. Nice and sleek profile, that 10 millimeter thickness on the case. Like I mentioned, the lugs because of the shape of them and then with this bracelet coming straight down from there, I think that you could probably wear this watch on a slightly smaller wrist without any problems. Of course, larger wrist, it's gonna work for you as well. But now that you've seen it on this strap, I actually wanna do a quick strap swap just to show you some ideas because the way that this watch looks, it can pair with a lot of other strap colors and materials very nicely. So let me show you a couple of my favorites. All right, not gonna lie, this one's my favorite combination here. I have it on this bridal leather, black leather strap that I have on the single deployment clasp. To me, this combination just uh, is so good. And let me show you on the wrist, there we go. So I think with the black sub dials, this pair is a winner. And then with that high polish buckle clasp also looks really good, pairs up with that high polish case. So let me know what you guys think of this combination. And before I forget, this thing actually will register on my time graph. So let's kind of see what type of accuracy we're pulling on the gallant. <laughs> you can hear the difference compared to a 21,600 or 28,800. This is actually 14,400. So that Mecha Quartz, it does register on here. I'm actually gonna let it run for a bit. I'm gonna mute it as well. And let's just see what kind of accuracy we're getting on this watch. All right, so I really don't know what to make of that. I mean, it's it's we have plus three, minus four, plus five, minus three. So I mean, if you cancel all that out, <laughs> it seems like it's pretty accurate uh, when it fluctuates. But I don't even know if this is technically correct as far as measuring the accuracy of this movement because it's not automatic. I would assume that works the same way. It's like listening to the actual beats in the movement. But I don't know as far as beat error. I mean, there's not a balance wheel or anything like so I don't know. Anyways, just wanted to put that on there and show you guys that, you know, it's one of the few watches I have where I can throw it on uh, that's a quartz movement and actually get a reading out of the time graph. Okay guys, so here we have the Gallant watch I wanted to review for you today in this panda color. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, if you wanna pick one of these up, link is down in the description for you. Make sure you use Dave Saves for 10% off the price. That affiliate link will help me out. I don't get any extra commission from the discount. That's just my thank you to you guys from Gallant working with me and letting me check this watch out for you. I'm looking forward to your feedback and make sure you tap that bell for notification because I got more watches coming up for review. So I don't want you to miss out. And as always, may the Schwartz be with you. I will look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Take care.